All right, boys, we're back with a transfer target. It's Wednesday morning and the Premier League fixtures have just been announced. So before we kick things off, big shout out to Zahi on Facebook from Sydney, who correctly somehow guessed the first and last game of the season, which of course is West Brom away and Swansea away. But we'll talk about more about that in a different video. So make sure you check that out as well today. But let's crack on with this. The big news of today that's coming out is that we've put in a £35 million bid for Raheem Sterling with £5 million add-on. So it's about £40 million quid. And uh, Sky reporting that it's going to be a take it or leave it offer. It's the final offer for Raheem Sterling. So it looks like he's getting closer to the bullseye. And we know what it means. The closer to the bullseye on here, the closer they are to signing for City. The second rumour, and I must apologise for this one, is Fabian Delph from Villa. Why should I apologise? Well, I tweeted about three weeks ago that I'm surprised that Delph hasn't been linked with City yet, with him being English and homegrown. But... It seems that he's finally, somebody's twigged and gone, oh, English player for City, who can we pick this week? And this week they've picked Delft. Do we think he's got any chance of coming to City? Absolutely not. People are saying, oh, if we don't get Pogba, we're going to go in for Delft. That sounds ridiculous. It's, it's almost as bad as when we didn't get Hazard and instead we bought Scott Sinclair. But no, I don't think that one's going to be happening anytime soon. One that we can see happening, and very, very soon, seems to be Patrick Roberts from Fulham. 18-year-old, we talked about him on Monday, I think. He seems um, set to sign anyway. The English Press Royal Report and he's going to sign for City. But we're going to loan him straight back to Fulham apparently, which seems like a, a sensible thing for us to do. What we can't do with these young players is, is sign them and never use them. Chelsea have done it in the past. They've been signing these young, talented players and then they end up on loan in France and you never see them again. So anyway, it looks like our first in this season, because that in column is looking very bare compared to the outs, could be Patrick Roberts. Who knows? Sterling might leave. The press reporting that they need the money for Sterling before Liverpool can go out and buy what who they want to buy to replace him or to uh, build their transfer targets in summer. So let us know, as usual, in the comments below. Let us know who you think we're going to sign first, if anyone at this rate. But we won't get too worried because the transfer window doesn't officially open until July anyway. But let us know. Have you heard any rumours? What do you think about Patrick Roberts? Have you seen him play? What do you think about Sterling, more importantly? Is he the man to change us up next season. But we'll be back tomorrow morning with a transfer target.